the wash bag realities of camper vanning. Good morning from a very windy Iceland. So we're going to freshen up. It's going to be the windiest day of the time here in Iceland. Cleaning the steamy windows from last night. Nearby statue, Elaine wants to take one more photograph before we move on. Trouble is, she's going to wait for the rest of the tourists to disperse. She wants to shot the statue with the mountains in the background. Clouds are definitely touching the mountains this morning. Glorious view. Elaine wants the perfect shot. But she's waiting for the perfect time. And it isn't a perfect time. Right to our campsite for the night. It's quite pretty. Nice toilets. Good facilities, no showers. Heading off now to find a little church. It's very windy at the moment. We're hoping the wind dies down as the day goes on. We're going that way. The way of the colourful hills. But there's no sun shining on him right now. We've just pulled in because we've just followed the sheep, followed the herd. Don't know what it is. Could be a cave. Elaine loves caves, don't you? Let's go find out. Bit of a scramble. I'm gonna go in if I can. Hello. That was fun. Enjoyed that. Now we're going to head back down to the car. This next stop is courtesy of Mystery Steamboat. This one's for you. I'm saying all this in the van because as soon as I step out, the wind's gonna blow me in the face. That is a nice little church with the mountains in the background. Stunning. Beach. 
There might be activity over there. There are seals here, way in the distance. And I'll probably need my drone to see them better, but you're not allowed to fly drones here. So just enjoy the view. Lane did the sensible thing. <laughs> In fact, tourist watching is far better than seal watching. So, we've been to see the seals. When you look ahead, look at the cloud. It's like a big pillow nesting on top of the mountains. To lunch. We've driven about an hour just to get to this spot. A nice church and behind me is an interesting sculpture. Also forms part of a multicache. So we thought we'd have lunch, find a geocache and move on. It's overlooking those mountains of the very many lovely churches in Iceland. Simon wants his cap, but it's on the back seat in there. So he, he's borrowing mine, but he doesn't fit him because he's got such an enormous head. But he, hey, he's got the sun out of his eyes now. Look at the state of him. So, we've got to get over there. Over there. How big is this tunnel? And the only way to get over there is in the tunnel. This place is very big, bigger than the Vokbass, easily. But does bigger mean better? The setting's good, because you are surrounded by lava. This is where you get your face mask, you may have noticed. Looking pale, you're right. <laughs> so you can check yourself out in the mirror and think, do I look strange? Yes, I do look a little bit strange. 
Go under a bridge and explore. It's an iceberg. See, iceberg. Clean face mostly. Things can be embedded in my beard. We're off in search of our free drinks. We're going to have one free drink per wristband. The drink, yeah, it's pay. Um, Consider it's so strict on booking. <laughs> There's enough space for everybody. Time to get a drink. The crowd wanting a free drink. <laughs> Have my drink. site for the night and for a change this campsite is free lots of birds mm. they do tend to swoop mm. I'm in danger so yeah this campsite is free this takes about half an hour to get here from the Blue Lagoon but it's taken almost 40 minutes to get here from the Blue Lagoon so facilities <laughs> and I like this as well that's cool distances different places and straight up the moon so yeah nice spacious site Facilities look great. And it's free. Didn't they accept donations? So I think we ought to leave a donation tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> this is pretty good. Good evening. This morning when we woke up, we were in this area. And today we've driven all the way around to about here. We went to the Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon, <laughs> we visited the Blue Lagoon, which is back here. And from there, we've driven to about here. Look how sunny it is, your shadow. Quarter to 11 at night. 
Look, he's my shadow. Hello. You don't get that on the BBC weather forecast, do you? You don't see the shadow of the weatherman. But you've seen the shadow of me. We had to drive through Reykjavik to get to this neck of the woods. Really busy in uh, Reykjavik. So busy day today. A lot of driving, but we've had a really good end to the day. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Our last full day tomorrow in the camper van. So there's the map. Here's my shadow. And we'll see you in the morning. Night night.